in the midst of a crisis. Because if you're prepared for a crisis, you can mitigate it, or you can you can ensure your survival. And of course, my my guiding principles in in the the, the uh, crisis I've been involved in was first the first guiding principle is that you have to make sure the safety and satisfaction of your customer is paramount. Yeah. Nothing else. Nothing else can trump it. The second guiding principle to, to mitigate or survive a crisis is communicate honestly and openly and only with facts. Never speculate. That will get you in trouble and certainly never lie. That will kill you. Well, especially... And And especially nowadays with uh, Internet and Facebook and Twitter, where everything is so transparent, if you try to hide or m make up some uh, little thing here or there to to mitigate whatever you think it's going to be better for you, it's, it's going to be the opposite result. Well, the famous author and humorous Mark Twain said, a lie can travel halfway around the world while the truth is putting on its shoes. That was a hundred years before the internet. <laughs> Now lies go around the world hundreds, thousands of times. And which brings me to the final guiding principle in surviving a crisis or mitigating it is everything you say can and will be used against you. So, Jay. You yeah, so, you Jay. Remember the, 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 B, the, the British Petroleum deep water horizon oil spill. Uh, In, after a few days, their CEO said, I want to get my life back. Exactly. And those words lived on and, and nailed him. He was let go as a CEO because he was so callous. People had died because of the disaster. People were put out of business during the disaster. And this fat cat CEO is complaining that he wants to get his life back to normal. So, Jason, uh, you were pretty successful in some of the crises that you faced. You were with Nissan, Ford, and Chrysler within the automotive industry. So, can you recall, can you uh, share with us a little bit of uh, some of the problems that you...